say something like you love me and make my day like you always do like you always do guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video I'm trying a new trick of putting a roller in the front piece of my hair whilst I've after I've curled it this morning but anyway I'm just doing my nails and I thought I would vlog today I have had a lovely morning we went for a nice long walk Tom is actually playing cricket today did have a lemon sip this morning got a little tickle in the old throat so hopefully that's just gonna I actually felt absolutely fine yesterday but the day before that had a lem sip so i feel like it's maybe lingered a little bit more than i was hoping it would uh but anyway we had a nice bit of fresh air morning walk this morning got some pastries from the bakery for breakfast so it's just me and barney in the house today and i thought i would share with you some spring new in capsule pieces for my wardrobe i've been buying some things recently to have a bit of a refresh of my wardrobes i'm feeling a bit like lack of motivation with outfits and i just wanted a bit of a freshen up things like t-shirts like this old t-shirt that's gone a bit like funny shaped although this one's not too bad like i've got some that definitely need throwing out or recycling or donating or whatever so i'm going to have a bit of a rejig um of my wardrobe at some point not today but at some point and replace the old with some new so yeah a bit of a fashion injection within today's video but also home because we have some home updates since my last home renovations update vlog which was only i think it was my last video actually i did an updated house tour but yesterday we had a few guys and Tom was also chipping in and helping out and um getting a few little bits done so it is a sunday so we have an empty house today so yeah that's the plans for today i thought i would just show you what i'm using on my nails excuse the fake tan i had a rookie error mistake last night whereby i tanned and slept in it and i never do that i usually tan during the morning kind of like baking it all day and you can kind of then see it develop throughout the day you can wash your hands after like an hour or two and then just like monitor it a bit better but last night i actually slept in it so i need to wash all the bed sheets that's why i slept in it. i thought oh, it's bed sheet wash day tomorrow anyway sunday i like to do the bedding if i can so yeah i'm gonna wash all the bedding at some point um well after i've done my nails i'll get that first wash load on but i thought i'd show you the color that i'm using this is one of my favorite colors to use so i still need to do this hand but it's from opi and it's called tiramisu for two i just get these on amazon i've got my amazon storefront with all my favorite colors linked on there which i'll leave in the description box below but yeah tiramisu for two is one of my faves and then i just use the base and top coat from opi gel as well and then this is the lamp that i use i have done a full how i do diy gel nails at home in like a beauty routine video but yeah i thought i would just quickly show you whilst i'm doing it anyway so from miley i've got this nail prep and polish again like all my faves i'll link on amazon on my amazon storefront so i just take a lint uh thing and just wipe all my nails make sure they're clean i've already like filed shaped took off all my gels last night which you can use like acetone to soak them off personally i just peel them off if they're peeling off anyway which i know is horrendous for your nails but it doesn't seem to be too bad i still feel like my nails are in better condition since doing diy at home gel nail polish application rather than going to the salon to the salon so yeah, I'm just going to start with doing the base coat and then I usually do, depending on which colour I'm using, this OPI one I tend to just do two coats. Top coat and then I go in with the lint wipe again just on the uh, finished nail and then I just finish off with a bit of like an almond oil, I'll show you which one I use, just on like the cuticles after they're all done, just keep them nice and hydrated and I cure it I think my lamp I put it on for I think it's 60 seconds this one yeah 60 seconds that's what I'm doing now just curing them right these Adenella socks I don't 
don't know if I'd recommend buying them, guys. They're kind of going thin on the toes, which is so weird. Because they're such a soft, lovely sock. I want to say that I love them and I recommend them. And I kind of do. I don't know if it's my washing tactic, the fact that I put them in the tumble dryer. But, yeah. The toes are thinning. That's not good. I've not had them for too long. Nails are done. This is the colour. Again, excuse the bad tan. Really embarrassed about that. So that's what my DIY at home gel nail polish looks like. This will last probably about two weeks. And I would say like when I went to the salon to get my nails done, it would probably be more like two to three weeks. But to be honest with you, they always grow out after like two weeks anyway. So I just popped some oil on my cuticles. And this one is from Cutex. Smells nice still. Smells like um marzipan with the almond oil and then let's see what this looks like this hair oh mm. oh. <laughs> oh let's just try and position this yeah it's giving me a bit of volume anyway I've just used my GHD curves as always. I still need to have a good play around with the um, the GHD hot brush. Is it called Hot Rise brush? I just I'm such a creature of habit. When I know how I do my hair, I end up just sticking with it. So yeah, need to have a play around with that. Just in comfies today, got these joggers on. These are from uh, George at Asda. Super soft and comfy and cozy. My Adenola socks look thinning <laughs> my basic white tee again this is an amazon purchase and that's me for the day i feel like i'm very ca very casual for an at-home day getting stuff done but also hair and makeup done just sometimes makes me feel a little bit more put together especially if i'm feeling a little bit on the <clears throat> side the ropey side sometimes just a fresh hair wash day a bit of natural makeup on just kind of uh yeah, makes me feel a bit better for the day. So anyway, I'm gonna get the bedding on before I share with you some house updates. Right now I'm standing in the corner. I see you from across the room. It's kinda crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. You must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. You got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. You're looking so old. Okay, wash load is on. Wash load number one of a few probably today. I feel like he's gonna come up. Are you coming up? There he goes. So let's share with you some house updates, shall we? What did we get on with yesterday? Ooh. Skirts. The main first thing we did was just have a bit of a clear up. We put these cardboard sheets and ply sheets back down just on this route here, just so that we can kind of keep the floor protected. But yeah, we've started putting the skirts on yesterday. And um, what we are planning on doing with this section here is the skirts will run throughout and then kind of like sitting on top of that, our joiner will build like an MDF shelf couple of, well, another shelf up here, couple of cupboard doors on the front so that we can have like a little cupboard area there on both sides of that chimney breast. So yeah, very exciting to see these skirts going on. They're from skirtingworld.co.uk and these are the Luxor range, which are 220 high. So we have gone for the exact same height as what the old skirts, the like original skirting boards were, just because I think it keeps with the character of the property. They look huge, but when they are all in their proper place, I just think they look really nice. So yeah, also cleaned up the doors a bit, just gave them a once over and took off the uh, like plastic protectors that were on the handles and the edging. So they are looking much fresher. 
can see a bit more skirting board there. So our joiner has essentially, I think, pretty much finished the kitchen. So the island is in, and again, we've just covered it over just to keep it protected. In here is to go a fridge, so we need to wait for the electrician for that because he needs to pop a plug in there. But it's an integrated one, so it will have a green cupboard door on it as well. Um, and we're just going to have that for drinks like Diet Cokes and waters and things. And then the joiner has also fit the... Uh, cornices for the top of the kitchen just to finish that off nicely um we're still i don't know why he's not put on that door there is a reason but they are there anyway we've got an american fridge freezer that we need to buy for this space which we went to curry's yesterday to have a look for some so yeah we still need to buy that we're going to go to costco and have a look as well and then in the pantry again all the cornices have been fitted the little filler panel has been added down here just to finish that off nicely. The worktop guys have come to measure up. I think they need to come back for something. It's to do with the brackets that need to go here. Can you see these lines that are spread out? There's six of them. I think they need to come and like fit the brackets and re-measure for that space. But other than that, they are working on getting our worktop here within the next couple of weeks. And then, yeah, we also had these cupboards fitted. We measured slightly incorrectly, so we had to wait for DIY kitchens to, for them to like resend us a 300 rather than 400 wide unit. And unfortunately, my error, not checking the basket properly, I've ordered it with a white carcass, whereas the rest of them are all natural oak. But rather than just, the, they can't return these, so rather than return it, waste a unit, I just thought, oh, am I really going to notice that that one is white? Probably not. And then in here, we're just going to have, um, well, I've moved up this shelf, and they're all evenly spread now so that we can have this section here for all the coffee station, coffee machines and everything. The plug socket needs to go in, so an electrician, when he comes back, is going to fit that. I'm thinking like mugs other bits and bobs up there. They're quite deep shelves actually. I might even buy some like wicker baskets that will fit in there, maybe like long thin ones that I can pull out so that I can kind of reach them. I mean, I can't even reach that top shelf. So <laughs> I might even get like a little uh, step stool, you know, like a rustic little stool. I've got one in the utility room and one in my bathroom. So I might buy another one for just keeping in here so that I can reach up to the top cabinets. Um, so yeah, that's how that's looking. They do need to shave these back 100ml or so so that the wooden spice racks that we've got will fit on these doors internally. So that is the kitchen space, isn't it, Barney? You love running around up here now. He literally, he's discovered the fact that we can chase each other around the island, haven't you? We also went out to home base and picked up these panels, which are tongue and groove paneling. These sheets are on sale at the minute. They are, well, the shorter ones are on sale for 20 and these ones are on sale for 25, but quite a few of them have like damaged, but because we're gonna be cutting off quite a big section from the top, um, she very kindly offered to take off a fiver for each of the damaged ones and they were about seven out of ten panels that we ordered so yeah so we managed to get quite a bit of a discount on them these tongue and groove panels are going to go all the way around the border of this room with like a dado rail as well i'm going to paint them up in like maybe a dark green and white above or wallpaper above i haven't decided that yet We've also taken delivery of our burlington sink and toilet for in here and i've ordered the lights there on route from jim lawrence oh also we uh shaved down this door reattached that it still sticks a little bit so i might just have to get the joiner to just shave off a little bit more but we've also had the plasterer in yesterday to finish plastering off that you can see it's just drying still a little bit at the top we took delivery of these two hanging pendants which i've ordered from john lewis i'll put an image on the screen rather than get them out right now so you can see what we've gone for but for now just like a linen shade i might in future see out and about antique shopping or whatever if i can find some nice more chandelier glitzy type ones but for now these linen lampshades are really nice so we'll go lovely in here oh what's that that's a big like hornet or wasp there i'll just make sure barney doesn't get that i can see you eyeing it up you leave it alone we just had a bit of a tidy up of our fireplace as well i'm absolutely obsessed with it we also have in our baskets ready to check out i think again from john lewis 
Tom's been shopping for these, but TV to go wall mounted on there. Again, lights I've ordered from Jim Lawrence. They are en route. And the pendant shades, the John Lewis ones, we've got one to go up there and the second one to go up here. And then I've ordered a picture right, picture light for that one there. Because I'm thinking we can have a nice brass picture light there from Jim Lawrence with a big piece of artwork underneath it. Maybe a little console there as well, but that's how that's looking. And then lastly, this room got plastered and finished off ready for painting, decorating. This one still looks quite damp actually, so you can come out here. <laughs> It's not getting any of that floofy tail in the wet plaster. Um, but yeah, that is how that's looking. Just plastered it off. This is like a pipe from, that's the downstairs loo in there. So that's going to be the exit pipe for the like sink waste, toilet waste. So what we're going to do is box that in and maybe create little like boxed seats so that it'll just run straight to the outside wall, out into the main waste. And um, I don't know why this window's open. Or maybe for the plaster. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to box that in, have a little box seat here. Another door casing needs to go on here. We've committed to our front door. We've actually gone for, um, we were going to go composite, but they don't do a composite this size. So we've gone for a wooden door, which we have bought the ironmongery separate for it and have it fitted separately. And we also paint it ourselves. So it's just a wooden door we've ordered that fits that space. So it's bespoke and we um we will paint it probably black we're going to go for so they're going to prime it for us in like a dark gray just so that it will take a dark color really easily so that should be here within about six weeks and hopefully before then we'll actually retile this space and clean this area up a bit and i'm thinking like a black and white traditional type victorian tile maybe in this area and then maybe just painting this brickwork white and that ceiling bit as well having that bit painted actually I don't, I don't quite know how we're going to finish that off we are going to have a little ceiling pendant light in here as well obviously this will actually be outside because the front door will start here if that makes sense i hope it does and then i'm still undecided on paneling i'm thinking paneling down this steps just because we have it upstairs still so just to finish off that nicely we can always add paneling at a later date if we paint it paint all the walls finish it off and we still decide it needs a bit of paneling we can add that on afterwards but i do think this room would look quite nice with some paneling in but we will see i got some samples so i thought i'd share them with you now lick is the color that we used upstairs in our bedroom and i get questions about it all the time the color that we went for in our bedroom is in beige 01 and it's kind of like a greeny beige color so I've ordered some more samples from Lick. I think we're gonna do Lick throughout the whole of downstairs. We really like the quality of the finish of it and everything. So yeah, the samples that I have ordered, I'll just show you. For in this room, this front room, I've gone for uh, the black 03 and black 02 and instantly I can tell I prefer this one. We will probably keep the skirts and the coving if we order some coving for in here white. So if you imagine the skirts come up to probably about here, 220 is about there. So that will be what it looks like against the fireplace. So you'll be able to see the finish of this black against the fireplace. It's kind of like limestone. I just absolutely love it, it's gorgeous. Black 02 is the decider. I have actually already ordered that, so that is en route. So I've gone for in here, and then the other paint samples that I've gone for, white 07 will be the one that runs throughout the whole of the corridor space, the kitchen living space. I want to keep that as nice and bright as possible. So that's what we've gone for in there. And then in the downstairs loo, I wanted a dark green. So I ordered these three samples. I say dark green, I wanted green of some kind. So I ordered these three samples. This one is green 06, which is dark, like a dark holly green. Barney, I'm trying to show them some samples. I know I love you too. But it clashes with our island. I'll show you against our island in a second. So I also love this one. And this is a collaboration they did with Soho House. And I really like that green. I think it's gorgeous. I decided on the lighter one. So I have ordered this color for the downstairs loo, especially as there's no natural light in there as well. It does, I mean, I've played around with this sample. The great thing about these peeling stick samples is you can peel them, stick them, but then you can also peel them back off the wall, stick them somewhere else in a different area of the room where it gets maybe less light or more light. So you can see how it looks in different lights. So yeah, 
Green 19 is the one. The Soho House one is Green 05. So they are in the post on route. I also ordered some Hallmark carpet samples for the basically the staircase down into the basement because they no longer do our Ledbury linen color and this color is it this one millstone that is the closest alternative so if you like our upstairs carpet this one is very very similar and it's the pimlico range in the color millstone that's what that looks like in comparison i did also order the lace sample of the lace but it's kind of like got a kind of greeny thread to it so yeah i've just popped that one back in and that's going to be the one that we're going to put on our staircase down into our basement so these are the sample colors against the island just for comparison and um, for the greens see how this one has a kind of bluey tone to it and then this soho house one like i say i love this one but it's kind of like a bit too similar to this kind of undertone the earthy muddy kind of color so because it's too similar, I decided against that. I decided to go with this, which I think these two greens work really well together. And I know you can't really see it because this is gonna be in the downstairs low, but there is the island and the downstairs low is in this door here. So it is a very close, a space close to it. So if I just switch on the light in here, this is what it looks like with the light. So this is the, gonna be the color Oh, you really can't see in here, but this is going to be the colour of the green 19 of the uh, tongue and groove panelling, which will go up to about here. And then above that, I think I'm going to go with that white 07 initially. And if I decide in future I want the wallpaper above instead and go really bold, then that green pheasant one that I've showed you in the past, I really like. So that could be a potential as well. Oh, and these are also the dado rail type things that we got to sit on top of the paneling. We also picked these up from home base. It kind of sits on top of it like that, just to finish it off. Okay guys, come back upstairs and I have laid out some of my spring, summer wardrobe essentials, some new in bits, some things that I wanted to share with you. There's a lot of Abercrombie and Fitch actually, and also H&M, but H&M also now sell our cat and other stories and monkey. So I also have some new in bits from those brands too. So I'm gonna do a bit of a try on. So I'm gonna get you set up with the tripod and everything. A little scrunchie as well. This one's from our cat. Just a linen scrunchie, love that so much. But yeah, I'll get you set up on the tripod and let's get trying on some of these new bits. Okay, I'm gonna start with my shoes that I got because I have picked up some new ones. And firstly, these kind of slider style slip-on sandals. I just feel like so wearable, so easy to pair with loads of different outfits. So I got this cheaper pair from h and I'll leave all of the links to these below. Um, so you can see current prices and everything like that. And then this gorgeous linen pair from Arquette with the black border. I just think they are lovely to have that texture and that square toe. Then a trend that I'm loving are sling bags. So I decided to pick myself up a pair of flat sling bags, which I'll probably get so much wear out of. They are a bit more premium, these ones. I got them from And Other Stories on H&M. So again, I'll leave them linked. But these ones are just a beautiful nude sling bag. And I love the pointy toe and also this point here. Now I did get sent them in a six, but I've ordered a seven. Now, when I ordered these online, I ordered both a six and a seven to try, but a five and a six came. So when you order online, size up for them, the actual size that you want. So I've actually had to order an eight just to compare, because I want to see if the six or the seven fit me better, if that makes sense at all. Same with these. I also wanted a pair of black ones, black heeled sling bags, just a small heel, just for a bit of a dressier option without the need to like wear mega heels, because I'm just not a heel kind of person. So like going out for dinner or whatever. So again, I ordered these in a six to try, and a size 38 have come, which I can get on, but they're, they are too small for me. So I've ordered a, um, size up just to compare and this is what they look like they're kind of like a fabric again that square line here on the front I just think is so it kind of adds like a modern touch to it I did also order this pair I don't know why I've not got both out to show you but essentially these ones are more of like a semi patent finish they're just slightly different but these ones were more expensive and I actually prefer the fit of the other ones so again um, I ordered a six in these and a 38 came. So yeah, if you want a six 
actually order a seven. So let's talk jeans. I've got a couple of pairs here to show you. All three of these pairs of jeans are from Abercrombie and Fitch. I think they do jeans really well. So I ordered these two online, tried them on at home, but then I also went into store and got these. Now I prefer the fit of, of all the different styles that they've got. This is my favorite fit that they do, the 90s straight ultra high rise the curve edition which is like um just better suited for like if you're a bit bigger on the bottom and the legs and a bit smaller on the waist so they fit me quite well and then this particular design has the crossover i do also want just the straight one and um i got them in a 27 and these ones are also in the short um reg regular would also be fine for me and then this style i will probably send back just now that i know i prefer the other ones i'm going to try and get the other ones in a light color as well but these are the ankle straight ones in a 27 regular the curve line again and then lastly again the favorite set that i've got the 90 straight ultra high rise these are 27 but these ones aren't the curve so they're also in the short version so similar to the other ones these ones have the straight top they don't have that like crossover okay next up i've got this full outfit on from abercrombie and fitch so the top i actually picked up in a large and it's just from their basics range it's actually slightly cropped which makes it a good length to be able to just tuck into high-waisted items like this skirt so this slip skirt that i've got i didn't realize but it actually has a big slit down the side so I'm actually going to send this one back because I really want one that doesn't have a slit. So I'm going to get on the hunt. I think I've seen one on Mango that I'm going to order and it's about £30. So I'm going to get one of those ordered because I just feel like a satiny slip skirt can really dress up an outfit yet still be really comfy. So I got that. And then I also got this, this gorgeous linen blazer and it is in a medium. I'm kind of regretting not sizing up to a large because I would say it's not the most oversized fit naturally. So if you do prefer an oversized fit blazer, I would say size up with this one. I really like the quality of this. It feels incredible. Next up is this gorgeous dress from Abercrombie. It is um, puff sleeve, which adds a bit of drama so that you could wear it maybe into an evening, summer's evening, on holiday, or you could just, as I have done, just paired it with some little sandals flat sandals, just very comfy and just for during the day. It does have pockets, which I love on a dress. I love it when you have that added detail. I really like this one. I got this one in a small. And I just feel like a black or white kind of dress like this, mid axi dress is just an absolute staple for spring and summer. I actually wear dresses a lot when it gets warmer. This next set that I picked up again is from Abercrombie and Fitch. I decided to go for the bottoms in a 28 and the top in a medium, and I really love the fabric of this. It's again from their linen collection. I've just paired it with some like flat slider sandals, and I just feel like I'd have like a nice crossbody bag with it, just nice and comfortable. I feel like I could have maybe gone for a small in the top. It is a little bit on the bigger side, but I do quite like that relaxed relaxed fit as well. So yeah, this is what the next set looks like. I'm pretty sure they do this in other colors as well. I also just wanted to show you these little bralette tops that they do. They come quite low. So I guess in black or white, maybe you could wear it as a top. This color is obviously like a neutral color, which I wear these kind of things under basic white tees and they're just like seamless, so comfy, super soft. And I also picked up this one recently, which they do as well, which is like a ribbed, um, fabric again it comes quite low so if you're wanting to wear a little bralette like this with some wide leg trousers and a blazer thrown over the top they do come quite low but yeah just a great basic this one is in a medium and I got this new one in a medium as well so again Abercrombie this time I've got some more basics this basic white no not white tee gray tee is the same as the white one I tried on earlier from the essentials range again this one is in a large and then I also picked up this soft essentials range t-shirt in a medium this one's more of a relaxed fit this one's a little bit snugger but obviously I picked it up in a large so it's actually not that snug on me but just a little bit more fitted especially like around the arms whereas this one's more relaxed so yeah I thought I'd show you these two basics and I'll leave them linked as well and then in terms of the trousers that I have with this t-shirt these I think they're called the Sloan pants again Abercrombie and Fitch they're so comfy they're just a very simple high-waisted trouser which they do in several colors of which I have got more colors a slightly stretchy waistband on 
the back so they're so comfy. The only thing that I would suggest is maybe getting a long in these because I'm sort of five foot five and I would say they're the right length on me. So if you're any taller than that, I think they would come up a little bit too short. Otherwise, a great pair of trousers and I picked up two more colors. So I also picked it up in the khaki green and also the chocolate brown. I got these in a 27. So I also picked up the same trousers in the cream color for more of evening wear. So I did go for the long to be able to pair them with heels. And they definitely are, I would say, a better fit for evening. And um, in terms of the size, I've picked up the wrong size. These are the 28 and they are definitely too big for me in this style of trousers. So jeans, I could be a 28, but definitely 27 in the waist on these trousers. So I'm gonna exchange these ones for a 27 long. And I've just paired it with this basic tee. This is a basic square tee. Again, another place I love to get my basic tees from is a weekday on H&M. So again, I'll leave these ones linked. I have got a couple of others as well, just again to stock up and have a bit of a refresh of all of my t-shirts. This kind of charcoal color is in a medium. And then I also got the white in a medium and then this style this one's a slightly longer fit so it's slightly different it's also in a medium and it's ever so slightly like ever so slightly creamier than the white one there's nothing like that fresh basic brand new white t-shirt i also picked up this shirt this is a hundred percent linen from h&m super affordable their linen shirts and just great basics it's long sleeve but i just tend to roll them up for that kind of more relaxed undone look i've got this on with my abercrombie uh nude slip top bralette type thing so you can tell there that even though it's a linen shirt there's just no way you can see my underwear i just have one more top to try and then some like loungewear comfy wear from tala this top is from abercrombie yet again i told you it was heavily abercrombie and fitch haul this one tom's loving it as well so menswear boyfriends, husbands, if they are after a new brand or have never tried Alcombe and Fitch before, definitely do so. Tom is a big, big fan. I just really like the shape of it, the cut of it and everything. It just makes it feel a little bit dressier than just a vest top. So it's got like a ribbed kind of design on it. So let me try on the Tala bits now. I've got two sets to show you. So this is called the Day Flex set from Tala. And I was just thinking very much lounging around the house, comfy, cozy vibes. They do this set well they do it in several colors but they were sold out of the bottoms in my size so this is a large and they are a little bit too big so i'm gonna to have to send them back but i love the flared leg i've also got this set in black which i'll show you once it's on but just the top the top's in a medium it just lifts it's supportive it's comfortable it's the softest fabric ever and i did manage to get the bottoms the leggings in a size medium in the straight legs. So I'll show you those ones on now. Yeah, these are the bottoms. They're not quite as high-waisted as I'd like. They're not as high-waisted as my Lululemon leggings. I will say that. Like if I stretch up, you can just about see my belly button poke out, which I prefer it to be above the belly button. I know like flared leggings, yoga leggings style is coming back in. So this is the set in black with the bottoms fitting me in a medium. And they are definitely more high-waisted than the straight star so i definitely prefer this shape this kind of crossover shape on the waistband and the flared leg is quite flattering too and yeah this is the black top the only thing is the black top feels a bit more snug than the gray even though they're both the same style and both in a medium um but yeah so it might just be a slight variation perfect for chilling at home or of course going to do some yoga today just feels like the sunday -est of all Sundays. I feel like bed change day, start of a new fresh week. Really random question that I've been asked, but I guess it makes sense. People ask where I put these like V-shaped pillows that I use from Ikea. Honestly, they're so comfy to sleep with. In between the legs, cuddle like that, like that at night, just so comfy. Um, but yeah, I never have them on the bed and that is true. So all I do is this bed has storage underneath or it just has a gap. So just by our bed, by our heads, I just slip it under the bed so you can't see it. Because I do I do know what you mean. Having them on show, they're not like the prettiest, are they? But anyway, I'm going to put some fresh bedding on, zhuzh up this room, have a bit of a hoover as well. Actually, that's why I'm clearing the floor because I feel like I need to just 
bring good old Henry in and just have a quick, quick hoover up. little hack I've learned as well. I'm sure probably most of you already do this and know this anyway, but to put all of your bedding, sheet, pillowcases, duvet cover, all within one of the pillowcases so that the sets are always together. Just makes life that a little bit easier. And then this bedding as well that I get is from Dust. The one that I took off, the linen one, is from Magic Linen. And I just kind of like rotate these two sets most of the time. Just plain, white and simple. And this one, it's like the Oxford pillowcase, you know, where they've got that extra border from dusk. Just think it makes it look nicer having that thicker border. The thing I do need to get though is some more crease releaser because that's what I tend to use on the bedding rather than iron it because I'm lazy. guys i feel like that's going to conclude today's vlog today's little video i hope you have enjoyed today for the rest of the day i'm just going to go chill out i think i have some editing to do i know it's a sunday but every day is a working day when you work for yourself uh, i've just got some things to do to send off to brand for approval for tomorrow so yeah i've got that to do so i'm going to put my feet up i'm going to put the tv on in the background though i think and i've been watching recently the race around the world on is it bbc i play i think it is and yeah it's really interesting there's th three seasons i used to love when we lived in america i used to love watching the amazing race i still think the way that they do the amazing race is better they do like uh, challenges and things which all of the teams have to do and yeah the, just the whole program set up is slightly better but it's the kind of take on that if you've seen that my throat is still a little bit like ugh, a bit scratchy as well so i'm just going to take it easy for the rest of the afternoon cuddle with barney tom should be home soon from cricket and then just a chill for on tonight so i hope you have enjoyed today's video do give it a thumbs up if you have at the time of filming this video i am literally about 10 people away from 100k followers subscribers on youtube which is just it was always my kind of like ultimate goal i feel like when i first started this channel i was like oh can you imagine if i got 10 well initially it was a thousand but then i was like imagine if i got ten thousand people watching my videos amazing so as soon as i hit that it was like wow if i could get the youtube play button the plaque thing that you can get at 100k that's my main achievement with my career, my hobby as well. So yeah, if you're watching this and I have the little 100,000 subscribers, thank you to each and every individual out there watching, supporting, liking, commenting. It really means the world. It allows me to do my dream job. So yeah, I just want to give my thanks, gratitude and appreciation to each and every one of you. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.